welcome to the Art of Control. My name is Simona Cipriani and uh, today I would like to show you um, some of the exercises that we normally do on the reformer and the Polaris Studio here. And uh, we have received a new piece of equipment from Grass Industry and uh, this piece of equipment is called the Archive Reformer and it's basically um, a celebration of uh, 50 years of uh, anniversary for the industry. And I just wanted to indicate some of the differences between this piece of equipment versus the other piece of equipment that we normally get, which will be like the other four uh, reformers that we have there behind ourselves. I have um, Elaine here with us and she's going to walk you through the uh, basic uh, exercises. So we're gonna start with the footwork. So I'll come all the way down and sit to the end. And face me, place yourself in the middle as we normally do, lower yourself down and bring your shoulders right, the shoulder blocks. So the shoulder blocks in this piece of equipment is slightly lower than with the one that we have over here. So you could see a little bit of a distinction. I don't know from the camera, but from here you could see it. Come up a little bit more to the shoulder blocks. Good, excellent. And then we also have another small differences in terms of the handles. These handles are done um, uh, with a little bit of an angle, which is really great for the arms and the hand position. And I'm gonna show you that when we actually get into the hundred little one, okay? So let's make sure the okay. shoulder stays nice and open, lengthening the neck nice and long there. And we're gonna start with the footwork. So uh, nowadays they actually, uh, have created a different kind of padding for the um, foot bar, which is really great because this kind of um, material is not as thick as the other ones we had originally over there. So it gives you a lot of more uh, friction and it's a little less padding. So it's easy to hold onto it with the hands um, and also gives the feet a little more feedback in terms of the position. So I like those quite a bit. So we're gonna start with the footwork and I'm gonna actually add a third spring for your knee, okay? So you're going to use your powerhouse as usual and extend everything out long and come back in. So the reason why I like this um, for Elaine but also for uh, more basic people and also uh, some uh, clients where they might have some issues with um, hips or knees. I like this piece of equipment because the bar is actually a little bit lower and the angle of the bar is a little lower than what we have on this end. You know, so this is, uh, this is also great, but this is a little gentler on the hip joint, knee joint. So, um, you know, for, for, like I said, for some of the equipment, for some of the clientele we have, it's really good. Let's go right into the arches and press everything out long. Pull it all the way in. Mm -hmm. Also, the springs that we have in this equipment is a little bit lighter than we usually, what we usually get. So obviously people can uh, re, you know, uh, order the lighter setting, but I like to work with lighter springs, just a little a tiny bit more so that they have to work a little bit more on the way in, right? So if you don't have too much tension, then it's nice to be able to have your own body and work with your own muscle to be able to pull that carriage back home. So it's easy on the way out. It doesn't press too much on the shoulder blocks. It gives more ability to open up the chest and not feel like tremendously pressure, especially if somebody's very delicate on the upper shoulder area, we have a little bit of those bones sticking out. So that's a very nice place. So um, it's not overly pressing too hard here. The cushion is very nice on the shoulder mm -hmm. blocks too, right? It's a little bit softer there. And now we're gonna go down to your toes for tendon stretch. So you reach out long, and then you lower the heels and keep them together and lower, lower, lower and lift, lift, lift. So that's what basically is concerned on, on the footwork. Come all the way back home, lift up first, always finish well, that's it, very nice. Good, bend your knees into your chest, give it a little hug. 
so we're gonna look at the hundred now I'm just gonna do a lighter screen for you because we're gonna probably talk a little bit about it okay. and let's look at the position of the wrist in compare to the actual arm so keep your arms nice and long and straight long fingers that's it take your arms by the side of your hips Elaine reach long and let's do the hundred so you just keep doing but you're pumping by yourself inhale and then exhale scoop in a little more make sure the legs a little bit higher so and I don't know if you can see it from the camera but I want to indicate this that it's a little easy on the wrist sometimes the other handles are really like annoying because it you know it just hurts somebody's wrist over here we also have ordered some of the actual um, straps with um, leather straps or leather handles which is also another way to go these are actually my favorite ones but those that come with the reformer are really good um, and it's definitely better than the one we used to have before um, again some people will prefer maybe the one we had before but they're a little to my taste it's a little bit too rounded and too heavy so this how does that feel to you good good, good. and come all the way back in and good let's uh, step off to the side and then we're gonna just go into the stomach massage series and the um, the stomach massage is as I mentioned to you going to be really really good for hip issues so come around so if you have a an older clientele or someone that has a problem with hips and knees I'll show you how easy this part is on this reformer Come right in the middle, a little closer to the edge. Good. Excellent. Okay. Yes, perfect. And we're going to keep it on two springs for Elaine just for today because I just, you know, it's, uh, it's something that we want to demonstrate for now, just talking about the position. So the position of the knee and the stomach massage is already complicated and difficult for most people, especially if we're talking about basic person. But if you see the, the, the actual angle of the knees into the hip joints, and also the ankle, um, the ankles and the feet in compare to the, to the knee, you could see that this is a possibility for her. In other words, it's difficult and it's challenging, but it's not really hurting and not gripping the front of the thigh because it's a gentle angle. And let's just do a few, out and down and up and in and out and down and work your core right so now I want to show you like a difference come all the way in stay right there if I would be in this reformer here for Elaine might be a little bit more difficult because that angle would have to be a little bit more in this position so even that tiny little differences of this versus that makes a huge difference for her and you could see and mm -hmm. you could feel right the difference yeah. if it's a higher obviously yeah. it's a little more challenging and maybe a little bit too much for the for the hips now if I'm re rehabbing or if somebody's coming back from rehabilitation program and working with one specific leg we usually do something like this in the Pilates method where we're working with one leg only so press out and then you lower it and lift and come in and this is also a little bit easier on the hip joint and the knee joint so that I can actually teach this exercise to her here and she's still able to do it um, again you know maybe she could do that on there too but it's it's, a, it's just a little bit more uh, challenging in that position so this is great right you mm -hmm. feel it a little bit more yeah on the oh hips yes. that it's not so tight and not you know you don't have to work so hard to keep it there right right, right. and you can step off to the side good so um, there also is um, something that I really love in terms of the um, box so we have the short box series, we have the long box series, and I'm going to have you right over here, Elaine, sitting right over here at the front. I'm going to add an extra spring for you because, um, as we mentioned before, these springs are a little lighter and the actual um, tension of the springs is lessened. So when she does the shore box series i like to put three springs on so that it stays a little more secure so the springs don't come undone 
and you're going to hold onto the handles on the side here. So the handles are also really nice. Um, they are a little bit more easy to lift so that she's able to hold onto the box. Sometimes the handles in some of the boxes are not so flexible, so you can't really lift them up. But for people, small people like us, right, Thank Lane? You we need them to be lifted so <laughs> make sure that the hinges are not too tight so bend your elbows to the side roll slowly down into the low back really focus in there breathe out so see she's able to actually go oh she loves to do by extension <laughs> by the way so we're gonna let her go and then you come back up okay so but she's able to do it this way because she can hold onto the handles be able to open the knees to the side so don't get stuck in there and now she can actually go into an extension which is fantastic for her and then she still be able to help herself in case she really needs to use the arms versus you know if you do it with the hug position sometimes it might not work for everybody so i love the fact that she's able to hold on to those handles and really get into the extension and she loves to do. So how do you like this piece of equipment? I like it yeah? a lot, yes. Good. There, there really is a difference in the stomach massage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that thought it was me. I thought I had gotten better, <laughs> but now I realize it's And it is thing. you, absolutely, absolutely. That's very good. So thank you very much. I hope this helps to make a, a, you know, a better judgment um, in terms of your what kind of piece of equipment you want to choose for yourself. I'm Elaine, and I've been doing Pilates now for probably approximately 15 years. And I started because when I was um, much younger, I couldn't straighten up. I bent down to pick something up, and I couldn't straighten up, and I got really scared at that point in time. Um, I was probably around 62. I was being too young to have that type of back problem. So I went to my first Pilates class. I didn't know, really know anything about Pilates, and it was a tower class. I came home thoroughly exhausted, went to bed, and uh, didn't realize how weak I really was. And so what I love about Pilates is that it really helps you with your flexibility. And um, that's essential as you get older. And it really helps you get stronger in, in a very relaxing and, and sort of comfortable way so that you get stronger and you're not even realizing that you're getting more strength. Um, and I have really bad posture and Pilates helps me with my posture. It, it helps me to be more cognizant of how I'm standing and it opens me up and it's helping me because obviously as you get older, your posture becomes worse. And so that's why I really am committed to Pilates. And I really love the studio because it's classical. And, and I think that it's very different from the other modalities. And I've tried them all. <laughs> so, so I really like the classical way of doing the Pilates. And what's wonderful about teaching uh, a committed student like Elaine is that you can still see how uh, the body reacts and how it changes and she's still growing and she's still um, progressing in her not only flexibility but I can feel when I work with her about the structure of the bone even the bones you know seem still like really strong and the circulation is getting better um, so it's just fantastic to see that no matter how old you are, you can always get, um, you know, to use your body the, 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 the best way and to, uh, to continue to progress. So thank you for teaching us also. And thank <laughs> you for teaching me. Yes, yeah. Thanks. Thank you for being here. <laughs>